the theme of our laboratory work is the development of structure and the maintenance of a lesson in the environment of remote learning, Moodle, EDX, and etc. Plan of our laboratory work. First, Moodle, and the second, EDX. Moodle is a distance learning management system, also known as a virtual learning environment. Moodle is a free web application that integrates into websites and is used by educational institutions for distance online learning. Moodle is a free and open source software learning management system written in PHP and distributed under the general public license. Developed on pedagogical principles, Moodle is used for blended learning, distance education, flipped classroom, and other e-learning projects in schools, universities, workplace, and other sectors. With customizable management features, it is used to create private websites with online courses for educators and trainers to achieve learning goals. <coughs> Moodle allows for extending and tailoring learning environments using community sourced plugins. So in this picture, you can see the screenshot of a student's my home page from the Mount Orange demo site Moodle. It's a uh, home page from the Mount Orange. You can see here our pages. General principles of work in Moodle. The only condition for the user is the availability of Internet Access, Internet Explorer, or higher browser on the Mozilla family browser. It's not recommended to use Internet Explorer and below, as well as Opera of any version, because the number of opportunities for working with Moodle will be limited. The system starts with initialization. You can access the login the distance learning system dialog using the login link located in the you are currently using guest access line located in the upper right corner of the window. Uh, here in this picture you can see our home page model. Uh, to enter the system you must enter your login and the password received from the administrator. In this picture, you can uh, write your username and your password, and uh, you can <coughs> give your uh, works. In this your first time here, uh, to browse uh, the community discussions about Moodle, you can log in as a guest. To participate in the discussions, you will need to create an account. Here you can uh, open your work page. Structure of Moodle. In the Moodle system, there are three types of course formats. Forum, structure, and the calendar. The course can contain an arbitrary number of resources and an arbitrary number of interactive elements of the course. When preparing and conducting classes in the Moodle system, the teacher uses a set of course elements which includes the lesson, glossary, tasks, and the wiki. The lesson, its meal lecture, presents the educational material in an interesting and flexible form. It consists of a set of pages. Each page usually ends with a question that the student must answer. Depending on the correctness of the answer, the student moves to the next page or returns to the previous page. In the glossary, with it, a basic vocabulary of concepts used by the program is created, as well as dictionary, of the main terms of each lecture. In the tasks, allow the teacher 
to set a task that requires students to prepare and answer in electronic form and upload it to the server. And uh, in Wiki, which allows you to create a document with several people at once using a simple markup language directly in the browser window. That is, with its help, students can work together, adding, expanding, and changing the content. Previous versions of the document are not deleted and can be restored at any time. Then the next type is a text. This element allows the teacher to create a set of test questions. Questions can be in closed form, which a choice of true, not true, for compliance, suggesting a short text response, as well as numeric or for computed. All questions are stored in a database and can be subsequently used again in the same course. And the next one is our questionnaires. This element provides several survey methods that can be useful in accessing and stimulating learning in distance courses. And the next one is interview. One of its applications is to conduct a vote among students. This can be useful as a quick survey to stimulate thinking or to find a common opinion in the process of researching in problem. And the last one is explanation. This element allows you to place text and graphics on the main page of the course. With the help of such an inscription, you can explain the purpose of a topic, a week or a used instrument. Adding a new course model. By default, a regular teacher can't add a new course. To add a new course to model, you need to have a user administrator, course creator or manager rights. To add a course, in this picture, you can create your new page. From the site administration link, click courses here and manage courses and categories. And so you, you can take, you can choose the course or category management. And the, after this work, you can open your new page, new course maybe. Then click new course in the category page in the right. Then click on the category where you want your course to be. And after click the new course link. And the last, into the course settings and then choose either to save and return, to go back to your course or save and display to go to the next screen. If you, if you want to save and you must Click to save. And the last one, on the next screen, if you have chosen, save and display, choose your students, teachers to assign to the course. To upload one or more courses, go to administration. Here you must click to go to administration. And uh, here you must find site administration. And after this, you must find courses and after you must click to upload courses. And then second, either drag and drop the CSV file or click the choose a file button and select the file in the file picker. Select appropriate import options carefully, then click the preview button. Upload course admin screen. In this picture, we upload one or more courses. Here, you can see all of the commands. Course homepage and Moodle course can look very different according to the SEM and the course format. Here a blank course page using the both SEM and the clean SEM, both with standard weekly format. First, navigation block. Second, administration block. Third, course sections. Fourth, side blocks. 
Fifth, navigation drawers, and the sixth, gear menu. Navigation block, it's a normally visible on all pages. This block helps you find your way around the course and site. And the, in the administration block, you can again normally visibly on all pages. This block gives different levels of access to teachers and students. In the course section, here's where the learning materials are displayed. These elements may be arranged in one on multiple weeks, topics, forms, or other layouts. In the side blocks, which blocks you see depend on what the administration has selected and what you as teacher choose to add. And in the navigation driver, this replaces the navigation block and the administration block in the boost term. And the last one, Jar menu. This replaces the course administration settings in the boost term. So in this picture, uh, you can the page you can see the page of uh, Mount Orange School. Here, uh, you can see many photos, many course welcomes and background informations. You can take reflection and feedbacks. So you can take here more informations. It's a next page in uh, grades. Uh, you can uh, choose your makes and your persons, how many uh, marks you can take here. So, so in this model, in this model, you can uh, do all of your works so easily, maybe online. So thank you very much. Goodbye.